All right, for the wax and the stacks, it's the best on wax. We're getting ready to go for the night ride. Going on a night ride. Michigan, they were up, I stepped out. All right, well, we're at the Christmas dumpster. As you can see, there are nice ladies jeans in there, some clothes. You know. Anyway, what happens? Simple. We look for clues. We're looking for clues. Look at that. Radio, there's copper in there, there's cords in there, have metals, and it probably even works. But I don't need to bring any of this shit home. Just tonight, demonstrating. It's a little wet because it rained today. Demonstrating a resource. This is a resource. It's like a final resource. You're doing people a favor when you can salvage. Salvage human effort. Like they would go into the belt. Or this pillow. Or those blue jeans. Okay. One resource, but I'm not touching a thing tonight. That radio was appealing, but I gotta run. So you should see shit like that, office supplies. Looks like there could be a cable in there, maybe a mouse or something. There's some, something in there. It's a plug. There's also a possible notebooks. We'll paint or varnish. You know this guy. So that'll be this one. I'm not touching it. Well, it's kind of neat, but gonna have to pass. But the auction dump's overloaded, and I don't want to muck with it. Man, again, total blur. This is Main Street. In the north side. This is Beach Girls Finest Amtrak facility. So it's been here for whew, Long time. 80, 90 years, maybe. That's well. The Rose of Sharon, very prolific plant around here. Once you get one going, makes a nice hedge. He's got a nice row of them here. There's a wild grape vine right there. Okay. 
I'll be back. All right, this is kind of dicey. Anyway, what's the theme of the evening here? Well, what have I learned so far? Uh, if you can identify plants at night, that can be done. A little light, a little bitty light. This one. You know, lights are good to blind candles. Okay, so where we go from here. Be back. So, this is a, uh, what do they call it, a turn? turnstile or something. Anyway, we start putting these at intersections in Indiana. This is the one here at 17th in, I believe, Albany. Beach Grove, Indiana. There's the old part of the hospital right there. I'll ride you past it. But, uh, my brother Greg was born there. I believe I was the first one on the other side, but this is the old one. My grandmother was born here. My dad was born here on this old side. But it's shut down now as a functioning hospital, and they moved to Greenwood area. Should be a historic landmark, really. Should give it over to someone who can cater to the homeless. Can you hear that music? Awesome. Yeah. This is a parking lot I put a lot of miles on. Somewhere up there is when I kind of rebel and would go up there with a bottle of wine and some bread that I found in there. And uh, yeah, it wasn't too pretty. I was a bit of a rebel. I regret a lot of that, but it's just what it was. That's right, that's where I climb up. Climb up right there. And then hop up there. It's easy. Anyway, I'm just glad to ride a bicycle right now. It's been fun. I was riding past this. This is the entrance to St. Francis Hospital. An area my father knows very well. And, uh, it is shaky, sorry. But St. Francis Hospital. Let me go up there and see all my new little brothers and sisters a number of times. This place here is a bank. And generally, in Beach Grove, back in the day, that's where you'd open your first bank account. Right there. It used to be Merchants Bank. I believe that was a Rockefeller Bank. Now, it's turned to National City, now it's PNC or something. You know that show game. Anyway, and this is where you la your last account is open for you. And this is Little and Son's Funeral Home. And me and my relatives have been laid to rest through their services. It's a very reputable place here in Beach Grove, Indiana. I gotta go. All right, I'm gonna give this my best commentary. Pulitzer Prize. Pulitzer Prize winning author from Indiana wrote a book called The Magnificent Ambersons. He won a Pulitzer Prize for that book. And it's the story of the Amberson family around the industrial age, back when the autos were invented. In fact, 
Indiana has a long history in contributing to the auto in industry. <laughs> They've been doing it a long time. Studebakers from here, some of the early cars. At any rate, this was a story, a fictional story, of one family and the son who was heir to his father's invention who resisted the advancement of technology. All right, so we're at just a run-of-the-mill construction dump. There's a nice piece, of probably three by eight plywood. And if I needed a sheet, I'd have it. But I got, I got to thin down, boys and girls. But sometimes if you see something big enough to come back for, that plumbing could be run for pond system and aquaponic system if I had the land to store it, but I don't. You can recycle that stuff all day long. And this plywood is brand freaking new. It's a nice piece. All right, I'm not taking nothing. I gotta go. There's a big dog over there. He's a big one. All right, I wanted to take you guys on a tour of our, our little bar scene here in Beach Grove. All right. So, again, I pointed these out the other night. This is the silver bullet. They've got karaoke in there. That's pretty fun. It'll get you in there. Check it out. Silver bullet in Beach Grove, Indiana. Okay. And uh, let me pedal a little faster. I'm gonna try to speak a little louder. See some cars piled up here. And they come here for O'Gara's Irish Pub, Beach Grove, Indiana. Top of the day to ya. That's pretty fun. All right now, I love this little theater that just kind of took root here. It's neat. New piece of Beach Grove culture. Okay, and then we got Harvey's Tavern. Harvey's. So, I'm sure there are a lot of people here, and the TV's tuned into the Notre Dame game. We'll see. I'm heading home. I'll be back. All right, all right, hey. The night rides coming to a close. We did not pick up any clothes. All right, there, there were some opportunities. This one's just for fun, light, heavy. I'm gonna get back home. Got some projects going on. Uh, I see someone coming on. You see it? Look closely. Look real closely. I'll take you there. Oh. Oh. They see me coming. You're taken to the street. Taken to the street. Thank you, lads. Thank you, lads. All right, we're back in. What did we learn? We didn't come home with anything. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. But I did get to show you some cool shots of the city I love, Beach Grove, Indiana. All right, we'll see you around.